And now, it's time for another Dice Tower Review with Tom Vassell. Hey everybody, I'm Tom Vassell. Today we're taking a look at a game called Avocado Smash. Now, I know that avocados are the in thing right now, especially if you want to stay healthy, and they're quite pricey if you want to add them to your sub. But I'll tell you, down here where I live in South Florida, I don't get why they're so expensive because they're everywhere. You drive down the road, you can buy avocados. I go to church, someone's giving me a box of avocados. They're just all over the place here. Uh, but I do know why people like them. Uh, and of course, the ultimate way to eat an avocado is freshly made guacamole. This is a card game where you're going to be smashing avocado cards. Uh, it's a slapping game where you're going to be playing cards, and if they match, you slap the middle of the table. Here's how. All the cards are split evenly between the players, and one card's placed in the middle on your turn. You'll take the top card from your deck and place it in the middle, counting it up. So here I'd say one avocado, the next person two avocado, the next person three avocado, four avocado. Now, whenever a smash card comes up, everyone must immediately slap the pile and shout smash. The last person to do so will take all the cards and put them underneath their deck. And then you'll start counting again. One avocado, two avocado, three. Now, whenever the two numbers are the same, again, that's a smash, and the last person to say them gets the card underneath it. Now, let's say one, two, let's pretend that wasn't a smash, two, and then this person puts out a three. If you put out the same number as you're counting, then again, that's a smash. So that's pretty much the game. You're trying to get rid of all your cards. Remember, a smash card always means everyone smashes. A change direction just changes the direction of the uh, game. In fact, then there's also the guacamole. When there's guacamole, everyone needs to shout guacamole. Uh, you don't smash. Smashing is bad in guacamole. The last person to shout guacamole becomes a loser. If anyone smashes, they get the cards. If you want to play with the advanced one, when you do guacamole, you just start counting down. You keep going till someone gets rid of their, all their cards. If that person, they can win. They just have to survive the next smash, which means you don't have to be last. If two people get rid of their cards, then the first one to smash correctly is the winner. Now, component-wise, hey, it's an avocado. It looks really similar to the inside an avocado. The cards themselves, you can't tell here, but they feel like an avocado skin on them. They're really good quality cards. The only problem I have with these cards is they're too small. Now, I know that they made them small because uh, they want to have them fit inside here. They fit like that as you close them. But I, I just wish maybe the avocado was a little bigger then, although then it wouldn't be the size of an avocado. So I get it. They're just a little small. They are colorful artwork, and I like the fact that the cards have different colors on them, which doesn't really mean anything. Um, but, I mean, if you have, they're just there to kind of mix you up. So, I don't know. The components for this game, I normally am against these kind of containers, but in this case, I actually like it. Avocado Smash is a game that's in the Uno category. In fact, this is from Ridley Games, known for their card games. By Uno category, I mean the kind of game that I would expect to see at Target. In fact, you probably can get this at Target. And it's going to attract your attention because, hey, it looks like an avocado. Now, normally, like I said, I dislike this packaging, but for some reason, this one's good. And I also like how sturdy it is. You'll notice I'm throwing it around here, and it hasn't busted open, and the cards dropped all over the place. So it's going to attract people that way. And I don't hate the game. That being said, you're not going to find me asking to play it. There's enough of these smashing games out there where you grab something. I do like that this one has the counting up aspect as you count the avocados and you're also seeing if they match and there's also a smash, but that's really it. And I'll tell you, on a personal level, there's only, there's only so many times I want my hand slapped. 
Now, for kids, I think kids will enjoy this. My kids found it okay. They enjoyed it, but they didn't really want to play it again because, again, there's a myriad of games out there, and this one didn't really catch them that much. We all thought it was fun, but it's kind of forgettable. The only thing we'll remember probably is the avocado packaging. So, nice put-together package. I can see this one doing well, and some families having a really good time with it. I don't dislike it, but I just found that it was kind of similar to a lot of other games that are out there. So, eh, you know, you're playing it. I'll join in for a bit till my hand gets too red, then I'm going to play something else. Or I'm going to go eat some chips and guacamole. That is better than the game. Of course, that's better than most games. Anyway, Avocado Smash, I'm Tom Vassell. We'll see you next time. Dice Tower Judgment, fun for families.